Hey everyone, welcome to our species spotlight on the rainbow cichlid or Harold tilapia multisplenosa. Uh, this Central American cichlid is typically found or its originating range is Nicaragua, Costa Rica and eastern Honduras. It's typically found in slower moving streams, uh, lakes and so forth on the margins or on the edges of these bodies of water. The substrate is typically muddy and the water of course on the edges as a result of that is, uh, is uh, turbid as well. Uh, the water temperature range uh, that they're typically found in is, is quite, a, quite warm in fact. It's known to go, go up to as much as 90 degrees Fahrenheit in some areas where, where it is located. Let's get into the behavior, community tank suitability, size, coloration, and tank setup for the rainbow cichlid. Now these fish get to be about four to five inches in length, typically something like 10 to 12 and a half centimeters. Males end up being a little bit bigger than females. Their coloration is very attractive and they have an ability to change their color rather rapidly. Uh, depending on what the situation is in the aquarium, whether they're kind of defending a territory or there's flight involved, they're, they're being dominated by a more, uh, you know, dominant specimen or if they're breeding, for example. The coloration of, of this fish is interesting. It's got a base orangey to dark brown uh, base look to the coloration of the body. They have a very, very unique an interesting uh, thick black horizontal bar that grows, goes across the middle. And uh, when they're spawning, in fact, everything below that bar tends to darken up substantially, gets a lot uh, darker to, to being almost black, in fact. They do have some interesting patches of a kind of a turquoise blue-green uh, on their uh, ventral and anal fins. And um, yeah, it's a very, very pleasant looking fish, a beautiful red to orangey kind of eyes as well. In terms of community tank suitability, they mix very easily with a number of mid-sized tetras, rainbows, mid-sized sucker mouth catfish, um, loaches, mid-sized loaches, other peaceful Central American cichlids can easily be mixed with the rainbow cichlid. Uh, really an easy fish for a community tank. In fact, one of the better ones when it comes to cichlids. Uh, the typical tank setup would be about four to six young fish that you would put between, you know, within a 50 to 75 gallon tank range. Uh, you would decorate it with uh, large stones, some sand, like a softer type bottom that they can move about. Uh, sand is ideal for these fish. Uh, some broadleaf plants like Echinodora species, for example, would make a good mix with uh, rainbow cichlids. And uh, yeah, very easy fish to keep, interesting to watch. They change their coloration very rapidly, as I had mentioned, and uh, extremely attractive. Now let's get into a bit about the water conditions that you should be keeping your rainbow cichlids in. Uh, they're really a very adaptable species. Temperature range, as I mentioned before, in originating environments can get really warm. In the aquarium, you want to look at keeping them within 75 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit, um, somewhere between 24 and 28 degrees Celsius. Uh, in terms of water hardness, they thrive in, you know, relatively soft water all the way up to relatively hard water for sure. That would be a degrees of hardness range of about up to uh, 20 degrees and a range of somewhere in between two and 18 degrees hardness is fine. I would go mid-level and typically for keeping these fish somewhere in the middle of that. As far as pH range is concerned, uh, they do quite well between uh, pH values of seven to eight. A little bit closer to seven is really preferable uh, for them. And like other cichlids, they do eat a lot. They do have a healthy appetite. So you want to make sure to do re good regular partial water changes. Helps to you know, sustain a nice uh, stable water chemistry for them. Keep the nitrate values low and they're going to re reward you with good growth and really nice coloration. And then, of course, uh, you know, putting some natural organic matter in there. I would keep some tropical almond leaves in with these fish as well. Stains the water a bit, gives a bit of an amber tint, helps to mimic that bit of turbidity that they uh, that this the species originates within, and would make them a little bit more comfortable and show their really their maximum coloration. Now let's touch on a bit about feeding. Uh, feeding a rainbow cichlid is 
not a problem. It's not a challenge. It's not a fussy feeder. In the wild, this fish, this fish consumes a lot of detritus and algae matter. So you want to make sure that within the dry diets that you're feeding it, that they're that they have a good amount of vegetable and plant matter content. That uh, that will be strongly recommended. You know, spirulina flakes that have a lot of other vegetables mixed in, or or vegetables mixed in with a good high spirulina content. Uh, is definitely recommended for this fish. A typical omnivore type cichlid diet for them will, will, will do them well. They'll, they'll grow well on it, except exhibit good coloration. A variety of different bite sized pellets, uh, flakes, frozen foods, bloodworms, daphnia, shrimp, and same for live foods. In fact, if you can give a bit of live food once in a while, always great for, for just about any tropical fish. In summary, the rainbow cichlid is a great fish for a lot of different community aquariums. When it comes to Central American cichlids, as far as those fish are concerned, it's one of the, definitely one of the best community type Central American cichlids that you, that you can keep. As long as the tank members are suitable, no problem keeping, but do remember they are cichlids. If they do spawn, you do have a pair. You know, removing them and giving them their own breeding tank might be necessary. It could be a bit hard on fish. Uh, that are not as fast moving as, let's say, some of the barbs and rainbows that you can keep with them. Uh, it is a cichlid, so remember that, but it's definitely one of the best ones for a community tank setup. We just love the coloration on this fish. It's easy to keep nature. It's hardy. It readily accepts all kinds of food. Looks wonderful in a broadleaf planted setup with a lot of, you know, larger stones and sand. It's a great fish for that kind of setup. Truly one of our favorites here at the Fluval Aquatic Cave. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like below. Till the next time.